Hi everyone! So today I'm going to finally show you how to deck out your Android phone to make it look cute. So the first thing you want to have in order to have the themes is Go Launcher. So you want to download Go Launcher EX. So you're going to install that. I already have it installed, but don't worry. And then if you want a cute SMS, then you go to Go SMS and you download that. You can download the Go SMS Pro emoji plugin and that allows you to use emojis and I'll show you what I'm talking about if you don't know. On iPhones they have these and you, you can view them if an iPhone user sends you them and you can send it to other people who have Go SMS or iPhones. You can also install different languages. And then to get cute calling screen, you have to use Go Caller or Go Go Dialer, which is actually Go Contacts, and that replaces your contact screen as well as the dial screen. And then lastly, for a cute keyboard like mine, you need Go Keyboard. So that's this one, and you just have to download it. Once you have all those apps, in order to get cute themes, you can just search them in the app store for the themes, but I find that using the phone theme shop has a lot, and the name is replaced, it's those full HD wallpapers, but that's what the app is called. So once you download that, you could open it, wait for it to load, you can just skip all these thingies. So here we see that there is wallpaper. So you have live wallpaper, dynamic, that stuff, and that's where I got my live wallpaper from, the live wallpaper section. Theme package. The package is to replace everything, go launcher, go SMS, go ever. So this will replace all the themes. But if you don't want that, you want something else. So you go to launcher theme, there are themes, icon packs, lock screens, whoops, SMS themes and contacts. And for SNS, this is how you do the cute Facebook and Twitter. So I'm going to show you how to do the Facebook one. So you want a free one. Here are some examples. And let's say I wanted, let's say this one. So you could download that. It says, do you want to remove the previous installed app? This is saying, do you want to like delete the old Facebook and reinstall a new one. So you want to remove and install. Press OK. And then you press download again. And it's just going to download. Once it's down downloading, you just have to press install and then open it. So this is the new Facebook that you have and you just have to log in and then this is your new Facebook. You have the icons are replaced and the sidebar. It's really cute. So that's how you replace your Facebook and Twitter. Now I'm going to show you how to get these cute little icon thingies at the top. So you want to go to indicator, widgets, and fonts. So what I use is the battery for the bunny. So here you can see there are a lot of different ones you can use and you just download them and open them. And then for just decoration things like the little two diamonds I have which is uh, apparently a battery saver but I don't use it for that. So okay let's say I want it for a calendar and you'll just have a lot of different options for you to pick from. Again, just download and install them. You can also download themes for Kakao Talk and Band, Kakao Story, TikTok theme, and My People theme. Since we have Go Launcher, we want to have a launcher theme. So you could just download one of these and I'll show you how to install them. Once you have them downloaded, you want to go onto your Go Launcher screen and you want to do preferences, visual settings. So my background is this live wallpaper. My icons. So you come to the icon section and you want to go to and then you get to pick the name of the theme you want. I have Go Donsome and then for my dock icons which are 
these ones right here, I, I used the one called Love Cupid Bee, and that one you download from the app market and not from the phone theme. And then Vintage Kitty is from the phone theme shop, and you could just choose what kind of icons you want. Now if you like all the icons in the theme that you downloaded and you don't want to nitpick everything, then you could just go to the theme section and pick the themes that you have. So you go to installed. So these are the themes that I have installed. There are many cuter ones. I just haven't downloaded any new ones since I love the ones I already have. So I have the Love Cupid, Berry Puppy, the Vintage Kitty, and a Go Down Some theme. So that's how you customize the theme. and. So here is my Go folder. It has all the Go apps that I have. So Go SMS, Go Launcher, Go Keyboard, Go Dialer, slash Go Contacts. When you download Go Contacts, it comes with Go Dialer. So to change your keyboard, you first have to enable Go Keyboard and they show you instructions on how to do that and theme settings. So you can select your theme. I have this pink one and this white one. So for the themes for the keyboard, you want to download them from the Play Store because the, Go f the phone theme shop doesn't have themes for the keyboard. And you can make your own theme if you wanted to. And then you could add in the emoji and different languages. So once you open Go Dialer, it's going to be boring at first, but then, or Go Contacts. But then to change that, you just go to themes. So here are the themes I have. I have this one and this one, and this one is the original one. So let's say I wanted that one for some reason, so it looked like that. And let's try this one. My favorite one is the bakery theme. So this one's cute too. Bloop, 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 bloop. So that's how you change that theme. So last thing I want to touch upon is for like more advanced users, I guess. So for the visual settings, you could also customize your own font. So my font that I have is Moonja, but the downloading system from the phone theme shop is a little bit harder now. I'll show you where to get them though within the phone theme shops. You don't have to get them from the theme shop. You could just download them from your computer and just transfer it to the phone and you just press scan font and you could just continue on to do that and then you, it'll come up with this list of fonts that you could use. So I use this one, Muncha, because it's super cute. But you don't have to change it. It doesn't affect it that much because, because the font is already really tiny so it doesn't really make a difference. You can also change the font within the Go SMS and I'm pretty sure all the Go Launcher and the Go theme and everything else. That's pretty much how you deco it, and lastly, there is also Go Locker, which is your lock screen, but I don't download that since I think it's just a waste of battery, since you only just like slide it open. If you still need help, then you could ask questions or PM me down below, and have fun decorating your phone!